Hello and welcome to Time Series Forecasting. In this video, I'm going to continue talking about splitting your data into two parts or many parts in uh, this case. And we're going to talk about cross validation, which is a widely used uh, method in time series forecasting. In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, the general intuition behind using cross validation. So this video is going to be mainly about the intuition of using cross validation and the conceptual underpinnings of uh, this method. Some of the concepts that I will describe here, they'll be more appropriate for the cross-sectional data rather than the time series data. Understand the concepts of cross-validation from this video. In one of my future videos, I'll talk about applying this method on any time series uh, data. So in this video, I'm going to talk about methods of uh, cross-validation. So essentially the concept uh, again here is to divide your data into parts and use one part as the training set and the other as uh, the test set. So the first uh, method that we can use to calculate cross validation is to divide your data into two parts, use 70% of the data to train your data. For example, this data may contain observations like 7, 22, 13, etc. Now you use uh, these data points to fit the model and then what you can do is you can see how your forecasting method it is performing in predicting uh, these values. You are using this part of the data set to predict the model, fit the model and then testing the accuracy of the model using uh, this uh, test set. And you can calculate uh, mean square error for this test set rather than uh, for this whole data set. In the next step, you're going to split your data again by keeping 70% of the observations in the training set and remaining 30% of the observations in the test set. And this way, dividing your sample into two parts randomly. And you again calculate mean squared error. You keep on repeating this again and again using the training set to train your data and test the predictions of the model on the test set and at the end of it you calculate the mean error that you get from all these uh, iterations and that mean will be called cross validation. So this is the first term uh, method. The next method you can use is called leave one out cross validation. So in this type of uh, technique what you do is you drop out one observation from the data set. Now this will be your training data set except just one observation so you leave out one observation apply the method on uh, this training set and then you see how your method is uh, forecasting uh, this test value and based on this you can calculate mean squared error one as the difference between y1 this value that you left out and your forecast based on uh, all these values except the first value that's, that will be your forecast for the first value. So you can see what's the difference between these two values and uh, square them up. This way you will have a mean square error one. That is round one. Round two, you include the first observation, but here you drop the second observation from the data set. Now this will be your training set. This will be your training. And also uh, this will be your training set. This was your test set in the first case. Now this will be your test set in the second case. So you use whatever method of forecasting you want to use on this part of the data set and then you predict this uh, y2, the second value. You predict this value and then you calculate what is the difference between the actual second value. Remember we left out this value earlier. You scale him up and you get a mean squared error too. You keep on doing this until this last observation you leave out this last observation from the data set. This will be your test set now. And you calculate a mean squared error for this nth value, which will be the difference between the nth value and uh, our forecasted nth value. And you scale them up. In each of these cases, you are leaving only one observation behind and calculating mean squared error. At the end of everything, you calculate cross validation by summing all these mean squared errors so you have n mean squared errors in this case and your summation is from i1 to n and you divide it by n uh, the idea here is to calculate 
the average or the mean value of uh, the error. Again, the idea here is to divide our data into parts and test the predictions of our forecasting methods on a test set which we left out or hauled out while fitting our model. In the next video, I'll talk about k-fold cross-validation which is another amazing method of uh, testing accuracy of uh, a forecasting method. Alright, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.